through the extended forecast. Well above average for tomorrow, that's elevated fire concerns. We watch rain turn to snow across the high country, and then we will watch by Wednesday that begins to impact the flames. So a whole lot of weather over, let's say, the next 72 hours. Futurecast shows you our front arrives as early as tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's when we will start to feel the impacts. Cooler with rain and snow for the high country, winds will be whipping out across the eastern plains. So we will watch your Tuesday morning commute up across I-70. That's going to be one of the areas that we will watch. Moderate to even heavy rain at times, but some big flakes mixing in. There could be some slushy roadways as you're venturing west again on I-70. It's not really until Tuesday night into Wednesday that the eastern plains begin to deal with some of this action. Rain transitioning to snow. So that's your timeline for the high country. As far as the front range is concerned, again, Tuesday night into Wednesday starts off as rain below about 10,000 feet. We get a nice little slug of moisture, but what's happening is it's looking like less and less rain with this storm. We're just seeing a more dry solution, but it's by Wednesday morning, regardless that we'll see if we can see, get a few flakes to mix in for the metro. The foothills have a good chance to pick up minor accumulations. We only need a tenth of an inch at the airport, so it is possible. But this is not a storm that will have significant road impacts whatsoever for really any of I-25. You'll see that significant accumulations four to eight inches in general for the high country. We'll watch some flakes mix in. This is no accumulations, but flakes out across a portion of I-25. That's really all that we're watching as far as your snow chances, but it's temperatures that get interesting as well. Shorts for the day on Monday, your winter gear by Wednesday, but don't put the shorts away just yet. We gradually warm back up. Thursday, Friday into Saturday, that's the same general trend that we will continue to monitor. 20s, 30s for the high country, 40s and even some 50s out across the eastern plains. So actually a few degrees above average even overnight tonight. A few clouds will linger out the door. Admittedly, today our cloud cover was greater than we anticipated. That's the same trend tomorrow. So mountain energy will limit our temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. So I don't think we break records for tomorrow. 70s, some 80s across Highway 50, 50s and 60s for the plains. Remember, we should be at about 61 to 63 degrees. So we are still 15, 20 degrees up above average. 80 degrees for the metro, but the airport only 79, 75 in Broomfield and surrounding areas, even northern I-25. Mid to upper 70s do look to be on tap, and it just gets downright busy. As soon as tomorrow, we will watch some of the winds really begin to whip. I want to show you exactly what we see. By 5 o'clock, the high country is our main concern, but watch Tuesday in particular. It's where we could see 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts in the southeastern corner. For us here, about 30 to 40 miles per hour. It just won't be pleasant as we get towards your Tuesday and Wednesday. The first alert weather day on Wednesday is really for the cold, and we will see one or two of our first flakes mix in. But by Wednesday night, look at the lows. A hard freeze, so you need to winterize. Blow out your sprinklers. Do it tomorrow, guys, before we're dealing with cooler temperatures. You don't want to be out in 20 degrees blowing out the sprinkler. No, that is not any fun. <laughs> not I've been pleasant. there, done that. Right, thanks so much.